Hey guys, Tyra here, bringing you Warcraft Wednesday once again. We are on Echo Isles. If today's spawning on the right, we have Focus playing as Orc. Going for a Blade Master first. Also, a pretty early Voodoo Lounge here. Single Blade. Burrow. Myself against some on the left, we have TH playing as Human, getting out an Archmage. Some militia creeping. We've got a uh, scout footman coming across. This is on the uh, ladder, so no observers, unfortunately, but we'll soldier on. Okay, so item here gloves for Blade Master early on. And gloves for the Archmage as well. Our town is under I think he's gonna finish off that camp, interesting. And this footy getting busy coming into the peon line here, doing some good damage. Spreading spread the love around. And uh, he's, well, he's not coming back to stop this at all. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe he's relying on this burrow to finish and uh, save the day. But the Archmage could now come over here Our and do some harass attack. on these low health peons. We're under attack. He must have coming across. I think he's going to see that footman. Oops, when what goes after it. Grunt We're doing complete. some scouting as well. We've got a blacksmith going down. So no fast expansion here for TH. The burrow completes. Peon jumped in it, forced the footman away. But you know, quite a lot of those peons are low. Looks like TH is thinking about coming over here doing some harass. Or maybe not. Blade Master just running around. Why Neither player really wants to creep while the other hero's right there, so understandable. Compare tech speeds here. They're all pretty similar, pretty We're similar. Oh, he's gone for the three points. Oh, four points around. Nicely done with the footman there. Don't know if this footman's going to be able to keep the surround on. Blademaster coming in here to break it. Footman in trouble now. Speed scrolling out the grunt. And that excellent surround there. Not getting rewarded. No grunt kill. Or TH. And in fact, he loses a footman. Speed scroll coming in clutch. Now another footman in a bit of trouble as well. This grunt going for a uh, long run around, trying to avoid going down. Which means going to try to steal this camp. Interesting. Big Master running all the way to level 2 with that footman kill. We go TH. Pretty sure I did not get the experience for that, no. We're under attack! Okay, Blade Master going for the Ogre Magi. Rifleman well, scouts this. But not much he can do about it. Potion of a Greater Mana here. Okay. We got our Shadow Hunter coming out. Tor and Totem and Beastery, okay. I'm doing a bit of scouting. What's going to be Hex early on? Take care of this footman straight away. Won't interrupt any of those healing cells. It looks like he... Oh, Boots of Speed picked up here on the Archmage. I was going to say, it looks like he might come do some creeping try to get the Blade Master to three before Work complete. going to harass here. But no, maybe he's going to uh, creep complete. out the shop. Only one shop on this map, so control of those invols and healing scrolls very important. Meanwhile, TH making do with the remnants of this camp up here. So, uh, two rifles so far, with priests joining in the mix. Pretty even food counts at the moment. Looks like TH not getting aggressive. Gonna creep this Murloc camp. And run over to the other side of the map getting aggressive. He does have a footman running around though, providing some scouting. 
checking what's going We're on in terms of creep attack. camps, expansions and so on. And look at this! Focus coming across here, stealing the Ogre Magi. Oh, that's a big one. What items are you going to get for his troubles? Another Gloves of Haste. That Blade Master is going to be attacking damn fast now. There we go, level 3 on the Archmage. Goes back for a little bit extra experience on the Mountain King, but... Don't leave the Archmage around for this creeping. Blade Master coming in. Going to look to steal some more creeps here. No peon coming down for an expansion. We're under attack. Research complete. Blade Master sending in an illusion. We're complete. We've got one more charge of dust here. He pops it. Stuns him. Oh, he had to use the clap. He's worried he's going to lose the creep there. Wow. <laughs> Didn't quite have the damage, you know, the creep was running away from the army, they couldn't attack. Had to spin the clap there, but at least he secured the kill. We're under attack! That could have been a disaster. Okay, Great Hall going down now. Footman spots it, gets a little bit of damage. It looks like TH is gonna stick around, clear out this camp just in case he needs to counter expand. Before making his way over there. Pretty even on the food count still. Looks like focus heading to the center. Maybe he's gonna get control of the uh, the items there. Yep, he's picking up the scroll of healing. He's already got an invo on the blade master. And what is it? TH just creeping everything on the map on his side. But this is inviting a creepjack here. This could backfire really badly on TH. He really slows on the raiders. Creeps everything but the sea turtle now turning around to fight. Sword goes down early. Rifleman in a little bit of trouble here. Blade Master spitting out some big damage. Rifle goes down two units down so far for TH, but there goes a grunt. Spell on the water elementals, not quite enough, no mana for another one. Looking to take down another rifle, and he does. Good clap, hitting just about everything. The spirit link spreading out the damage nicely. These orc units, oh, starting to get low, starting to drop low, but the human army also looking quite weak here. It's been some uh, good target prioritization so far from focus, and he forces the town portal. Coming out of that fight, food counts close to even. Did use the heal scroll here. It also has the uh, Great Hall going down, so I'd say that's probably a win. And he also gets to stick around for the Sea Turtle if he chooses, but... Might be a bad idea, because TH ran straight down here, going for the Kodo interception here. So it's just some trouble, and uh, Kodo's going to be able to get away. TH has to turn and fight. Good slow rifleman in trouble. Good clap. Priest heal coming in clutch. One, one uh, priest. One rifle down so far, but Raiders getting low. Another priest going down. Now focus fire onto the blade master. He's got the invo. He's probably going to have to use it here. He uses it to break or well, avoid the storm bolt. Uh, the Kodo is still slowed here. Oh, so much mana on that Shadow Hunter, however. Picks up another heal scroll here. Finish uh, just in peasant form now, not doing too much damage. Eats a rifleman. Human army uh, looking pretty weak at the moment. In comes another Kodo. Focus fire onto the Blade Master again. That's the last heal from the Shadow Hunter. Could this be the time for TH to turn up the heat? He needs to make it happen now, otherwise the expansion is going to start... Meaning he's going to get outproduced. Slow on everything at the moment. Really nice clap, wow. Another involve from the Blade Master. He's taking down these human units quickly though. Kills the Kodo. Oh, but it gets... <laughs> 
<laughs> that poor rifleman from one coda's belly to the next, partially digested. And uh, there we go, Blade Master has to town pull out, takes down an extra raider on the way out. He's lost uh, all of the peasants. No, he's got two left. Pulled them back. I guess he's going to have to go for an expansion of his own. He could also come across and try and tower push potentially. But no, he doesn't even have a lumber mill, so that's not going to work. And yep, counter expansion starting up by TH here. Already uh, about a thousand gold behind though. Uh, yeah, focus. Not much food behind either. So things are looking up for focus. He's also got a couple creep camps on his side of the map, so he can still level up as well. He's out here once again with that shop control, trying to get the items. My life for the Lord. Power building that town hall. I'm going for the magic sentry upgrade there. Oh, that's a crystal wall effect. I was like, I didn't see, I didn't see an arcane tower up here. Which could be giving the reveal. It's from the crystal wall. Okay, focus breaking upkeep here. We're under attack. TH coming on the offensive. He's got the MK invisible right now. And uh, striking just at the time this creep camp is underway. Cancels the shot. Might be able to get a couple peons in the uh, meantime. MK once again. And Ford's invisible. He's looking for a really strong clap position. Got a level 2 clap. Oh, that was a big one. Blade Master getting busy. Slow on everything. Huge clap again. Just got activated. Blade Master chopping through. Another ginormous clap, but now the MK out of mana. TH in a bit of trouble. He's trying to pull back a little bit here. Geron just still with plenty of mana for the heals, but one raider down. And the human army falling apart a little bit here. Picks off another raider. Now trying to pull back a little bit. MK is level 4 now, though. A nice crystal wall on the exit. No shop down here, so no easy healing. Might have to wouldn't walk up here to the Voodoo Lounge at his other base. No. Just gonna let this one finish. Once again running straight into the middle. Picking up another heal scroll. Important. Given how we've seen TH uses Thunderclap so far. Super effective. Oh boy! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you see, I think he, I could see the Mountain King winding up for the Stormbolt there. It doesn't come out, but I wonder if the Arcane Tower is ready with the reveal there. Not sure. Work complete. Ready to ride. Cool. More elemental doing some scouting. Looks like the Orc army gearing up for a push. We're zero zero attack. upgrades. Two zero back the other way on these riflemen. And TH just uh, pushing out the units. Both armies coming in at a similar size, around 60 We're food. Oh, look at this cheeky war elemental getting a bit of peon damage in here. Work complete. Okay, uh, fighting uh, not quite underway. Mountain King at full mana and with two mana potions and a healing potion. TH just putting everything he can onto that Mountain King. Sorceress getting interrupted from the rally point. Thunderclap! What a thunderclap! Whole army. Getting clap right there. That was a monster. And now trying to funnel the fight into this choke point. Minimize the surface area for these melee units. TH playing this well. 
Another big clap. All those grunts load. Same with the Blade Master. And the focus fire now from this amount of rifle is quite powerful. The distributed healing not quite working out. Full focus. King coming back. Another clap. He's used one of those mana potions. Blade Master still picking away units. Oh, Blade Master in a bit of trouble. Good to heal. Now TH pulling back a little bit. Okay, back in. Big clap. Healing potion. Focus fire onto the Blade Master. Pops the in vault. And TH on his bicycle running back. Small regeneration. Another unit getting caught coming from the base. Really nice positioning for this fight. For focus, so you can intercept those units coming to reinforce. Catching them out of position. TH now about five food behind. And here we go, they're re-engaging. Oh, what a thunderclap. He's going after and he takes down the Kodo, I think just before the heal scroll activated there. It's a big drop in the damage now for the Orc army. Another big clap, but oh, Mount King in a bit of trouble. Storm bolts the Blade Master to minimize the damage coming in, but he goes down. That Blade Master now level 5, busting out some nasty criticals. But TH not coming back yet, still fighting this one out. Three Forest Troll Berserkers, by the way. They've been doing a lot of damage to all these casters, but the Orc army. Not completely out of the woods here. Still a lot of slow running around. Oh, I'm in, in trouble. I mean, it's basically just the Blade Master shot at this stage. The rest of the Orc army there is a diversion, really. Blade Master inflicting all the damage. And, but without the Mount King there to s slow him down, Church in a bit of trouble. Gonna run around with the Archmage. Level 6 Archmage, by the way. And there we go. Town portaling out. Blade Master gonna try and pick off a couple more units on the way out. Oh, and he's going after the altar. MK about two thirds of the way back. This is a good tactic. Mass teleporting back in. Now focus onto the Archmage again. Archmage getting blocked and ensnared. Archmage is in big trouble, Hex. And down he goes. Huge critical there. Good hero focus there. Maybe he should have played a bit more defensively with that mass teleport. Okay, Militia coming out now. Anything to try and hold the line here. Mountain King. Oh, he's nearly here. Shadow Hunter just about out of mana, but the Blade Master does have that Ring of Regeneration really helpful in these sustained fights. And here comes the MK. Reveal. Stormbolt. And the Blade Master goes down nicely played, holding on to that crystal ball, and it comes good for him right there. Now, uh, who's got the staying power? These casters with no mana for the slow at the moment. So they're not terribly useful. The MK uh, has got one more storm bolt. Storm bolt. No. Are we going to see the buyback here potentially? Looks like the Archmage going for the ultra revive. Okay, he's invising the Mountain King forwards with the clarity potion on. Probably pick off the Spirit Walker if he really wants to, but I think he's got his sights on a uh, bigger target. No, seals for the Spirit Walker. Pretty similar composition still coming from Focus. No changes in tactics yet. Both players sitting just under 50 at the moment. And our focus coming on the offensive once again. It's got the clarity's running, another mana potion there. Blade Master healthy. Oh, 
Oh, we go for the tavern res on the Archmage. This is expensive and risky. Could easily get focused down again. Big clap on most of the Orc army there. But down goes the Arcane Tower. Really pick off. He's focusing the MK. MK picks up a healing potion. A lot of slow. Most of the Orc army here slows. Another big clap. MK trying to escape. The focus fire from that Blade Master is so nasty. Just does so much damage. Spells the water elemental. Another big clap. Orc army getting low. Shadow Hunter a little bit late on the trigger there with that heal wave. Another big clap. MK getting out of these. Got the Envol Potion on that as well. Now he's pulling back. And he's mass teleporting. No, nope. interrupted by the Hex. But that means one less heal wave. Couple of moves going down. Couple casters. The focus fine now onto the Blade Master. main exhausted there still a little bit left for th since he you know brought those guys in for a militia a couple times it's going to be one base versus one base we've got seven thousand three hundred here versus six three here so thousand five hundred or so extra gold for th if it comes down to that Like TH, uh, I mean focus rather, banking up a little bit at 50. Picking up so many consumables, like <laughs> you had two mana potions there, all the clarities, all the just everything basically, every consumable he could get his hands on. Now he's coming back over for another scrap, breaking into upkeep just as he's about to start the fight. He's going to lose a unit. Here we are coming on the offensive. Blade Master start things off. Right click onto the Archmage and Blade Storm. Oh boy. And that's a town portal out. That Blade Storm too powerful. Oh, he takes down a Sork as well. Good Thunderclap though. Ready to ride. Looks like he did town portal to the expansion. It's got the shop. It makes sense. Orkami coming, getting a few uh, rally jacks. Here we go, militia coming down from the main. TH pulling the trigger here. This is going to be his uh, big fight. Huge thunderclap. The MK getting in there again. Okay, his militia just cannon fodder at the moment, but they're soaking up the damage nicely. Here comes the rest of the human army getting some slows down. Big thunderclap. But the militia are just about worn out. Oh, he can't quite take out the Kodo. He's trying. He really wants to get that damage reduction now. But the enhanced damage from the Kodo Beast lives on. Raid it down. Share Hunter, no more mana potions anymore. Another big clap. MK still has a mana potion and level 6. Could see Avatar. Coming in, Rifleman going down. This is such close fighting. There we go, another big thunderclap. Raider and Priest going down. Now a bit of focus fire to the Blade Master. Spirit Link on him though, hard to focus him down. No, good clap. And he's going to take down the Raider. So now it's just about a hero on hero fight here. And uh, there we go, Focus throws in the towel. I guess he just knew he was down on uh, down on gold. Came out worse in that fight. Just about no army left. TH still had a little bit. The hero level was also uh, looking pretty good for TH right there in there with a the mass teleport. And uh, no mana. I don't think he had a town portal either, so yeah. Leaves the game, GG. That was a really fun one. Lots of, you know, like 50 to 60 food fights and skirmishes. Loads of consumables on both sides. Like in insane thunderclaps time and time again. Some nice use of invers on the Mountain King as well to enable those thunderclaps.
And ultimately, TH uh, comes out a hit. GG. Well, I'll wrap on that, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another installment of Warcraft Wednesday. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.